Okay, we're uh, back at uh, Flint's, uh, you know, the mission place here, and uh, this is Jeff. Uh, Jeff, can you introduce yourself and tell us uh, what you're doing here? Yes, I'm Jeff Brown, archaeologist. Uh, we're excavating uh, here at the old mission just to find the foundation of the structure. You can see we've dropped down here about a 15 centimeters today. Uh, 15 centimeters, what is that in inches? Oh, that's about, uh, what do we have here? Right here. 15 centimeters is six inches. Exactly. Great. Great. And what, so, what are you looking for here? What's uh... we're trying to find the foundation to the bottom of the structure here, the foundation stones, the the first stones laid, uh, so that we can also study any of the artifacts that we find in association to that depth. I'm dropping down in about 10 centimeter depths uh, as I go, uh, bagging them differently according to level. We've got uh, oh, we've got some samples of uh, adobe right here perhaps from the early uh, 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 skin of this structure that has dropped down. But we're uh, very shallow here, so uh, this is probably fairly recent stuff. But uh, it could be another two feet down. Okay, great. Well, listen, I, I'll, we'll let you get back to work. And then, uh, Flint, can you tell us a little bit, uh, so, what, what, uh, so what is the uh, age of this building, do you think? Well, Bart, I'm, I, I'm not an expert. That's why we got people here like him. We had the state uh, historic preservation officer here in 77, and uh, Frank Fryman, and he said that the building foundation could be 1,400 years old. Wow. Uh, we're not sure. We've just found out recently in 1859, this was Fort Cañada del Oro, and it was the first Apache and white man powwow. There was a 1,000 Indians here that came down from Arapaipa. Wow. We think wow. maybe it was a mission before that, a Spanish mission. Great. So anyway, that's what Jeff is uh, doing here, more or less to get some, some facts. And uh, so we know what we're dealing with here on this, uh, this building, correct? Yes, sir. This is tied into a, it's the world's largest land treasure. It's over $155 billion in gold, over 100 tons. And uh, there's a story that's went on for hundreds of years. And what is this, uh, Jeff? This uh, looks like a polishing stone. Several uh, edges uh, are uh, rubbed smooth, grounded. Huh. They use uh -huh. that when Abraded. they make the pots, right? To smooth them on the outside? Yes, yeah, so there's several, several purposes. It looks like this, this top uh, edge has some uh, small peck marks in. That's why it might have uh, cracked right along here as they were doing some little pecking on there. Who knows? But uh, uh, what type of stone would you say that is? That's from the Barnes conglomerate. There was a formation here that when this was under the ocean, it was like a big tumbler. All the rocks are round and polished perfect, just like somebody put them in a regular machine tumbler. That formation is called the Barnes conglomerate. Huh. Kind of so, almost purple. Almost great. purplish. Yeah. Well, um, well, Flint, tell us a little bit about uh, the $155 billion worth of gold uh, that's hidden somewhere. You want to buy a map, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, part uh, this is not fiction. This is a factual matter that's still in the United States court systems today. This is a very long and involved story, and it goes back centuries. And uh, it involves some of the biggest names in the West. And uh, there was over 18,000 gold bars. Wow. Five different sizes and weights. And, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, Buffalo Bill Cody was involved in this. Somewhat, yes, somewhere. sir. Uh, and some of the records it said uh, the mines were important as much as the treasure that was already refined. And Cody ended up with one of the mines and said he'd found this. It was a fabulously rich vein. I've seen it. It was solid metal. Okay, terrific. So anyway, we're up here uh, just digging into history, and uh, you know we're up in the foothills of the Catalinas. Beautiful country, and uh, you never know what's hidden up there. Okay, Flint. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you very much, and uh, well, we'll catch you on the next one. Certainly. Okay.